Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calmston Farm, where it is August, still August. Um, I said I wasn't going to do the harvesting on field one. In fact, actually I'm not. <laughs> I did say at the end of the last video I was going to sleep, didn't I? And was going to do the, the, do the wheat field on August you know what? I'm still going to do that, but I'm, I'm going to get my head picked up. Wow. Really should have parked that trailer a little bit further away. Let's get that bad boy opened up. Right, so we're going to be doing the wheat harvest then, first thing in the morning. And um, that'll hopefully then see us through till September. So yeah, let me go and do that. I got, sorry, I'm a bit disjointed, ladies. I've had a bit of a disjointed day today. A bit of a weird and wonderful day. Um, this is, I think, episode going to be episode 94 of the series. Sure it is. Let's feed the dog. Um, I think I rendered episodes 90, 91 and 92 last night while I was sleeping. I think I've got episode 93 in the software to render, but I need to record two more episodes because I always render in threes. I render a week's worth of videos at a time, so I need to record... Um, basically two more episodes um, before I can render. So this will be 94. The next video will be 95. I said the series was going to end at 100. We probably will go a little bit long on that now because I realised to harvest everything on this map and get everything harvested and get crops sold and stuff, it's probably going to be longer than five episodes to do that. So basically, this series will end once I've harvested everything and pretty much sold all the crops that we've harvested this year. Okay. <laughs> so we might go a little bit longer than 100 episodes in this series. Um, we'll have to wait and see how it all pans out. But yeah, we've got the lovely joys. So, yeah, it's August, so I still can't... I could do oil seed radish seeding. We could have a, a worker go off and do some oil seed radishing for us on a couple of fields. Which fields would I potentially want to go and oil seed radish, do you think? Um, would be candidates for it. None, because they're all pretty high. Precision farm scores, apart from that field, which I like to say, I don't know why I'm not getting credited for lime. Chalk that up to precision farming bugs. Bugs in the game. Because I definitely have lime spread that field. Right, folks. I am going to drop straw on this field. I've decided. I'm going to just cut into it and then I'm going to put the straw dropper on because we will bale the straw and we will sell the bales just to give us something extra to do. Like I say, it should be on field six for this. And that guy will take the wheat and just sell it each time he gets full. finished all my digestate spreading on all the fields that needed digestate spreading. So I've got all that done. This field does need to be ploughed after we harvest. 
though I will probably digestate spread this field, plough it, lime spread it, and then obviously get the stones picked up. Where we need stones picking up. to come and unload me please I don't think he will that's the fast track yeah he's decided to drive into the fast track bless him that's not helping me any I think we need to uh, just manually unload on the headland until the guy can get on the field. I don't think, I don't think, I honestly don't think the auto drive really handles unloading tractors, uh, harvesters well on the field headlands. I don't think it likes it. They seem to be a bit iffy about unloading on headlands. So I think you have to manually take care of the headlands of your fields and then once you've actually got room on for your guy to drive around on the field that's when auto drive seems to be at his happiest but i tell you what we've we've had some fun on this map ladies and gents and continue to have fun but obviously my fun on this map now is more in the multiplayer side of things where last night when i was playing we was playing last night and very bizarre situation happened um we were down here on field 14 um there was a potato crop ready to harvest on field 14 and obviously field 14 does not have contracts if you actually go into giants editor and have a look at the field oxygen david hasn't actually enabled contracts on field 14 so that crop will just sit there forever and ever and ever and will never go anywhere um, if you're playing with seasons on, it will wither once you're out of potato season. When you're not playing with seasons, it will just sit there ready to harvest forever. So on the multiplayer server last night, I bought the field and I decided, well, basically I've decided to buy and own all the fields that don't have contracts, don't allow missions. And that way then we still have missions available on the map and contracts available on the map on the other fields. And obviously we've got our own fields to work and we're not breaking the contract system by buying those fields because they never had contracts on them to start with. So I bought field 14 and I decided rather than just plowing in the potatoes and, and then obviously growing my crop, we might as well harvest the potatoes as they're there, they're ready to harvest. So I went to the store Went to um, Potato Technology or whether it was Beet Technology. Got one of the 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 the, the, the multi fruit harvesters. Come down to Potato Technology. Come and got myself a header for the the machine. You know, like you do. All nicely nice. Nice potato heart header. Went to the field, and um, very strange thing. Driving, we drove driving the machine on the field. Could not get it to remove the tops. The folk could to remove the tops of the the foliage, even though it was ready to harvest. Wouldn't remove the tops, and it wouldn't harvest the potatoes. And we tried several different machines, leasing different returning machines, leasing new machines. We could not get it to harvest that field, even though it was ready to field 14 was ready to harvest, could not get it to work. In the end, the only way we was able to harvest field 14 on this map, I had to bring up the easy devs control mod. I had to go to the field section. I had to go into set field through. I had to choose potatoes, the crop. 
and set it to ready to harvest in here. And when I saved it, basically, the field was like topped. There was no tops on the field like you get normally on potatoes. Um, but then the harvesters were able to harvest the potatoes. So for some reason, the potato harvesters are not removing the tops, won't remove the tops. And it was weird, weird issue. So in the end, we was able to go around, do the harvest the potatoes. We got something like, I think, almost 500,000 litres off of that field. So not a bad, bad investment. So I sold, we had two drivers, two trailers with auto drive um, running trailer service for Mr. Helgi who was driving the harvester. I then provided a third trailer because the two trailers were struggling to they only the trailers only had a 30,000 litre capacity. The harvester had 45,000 litres. So the, the harvester was never fully unloading into a trailer and it, the problem with that is then the harvester gets full. <laughs> Um, very quickly and then the two trailers obviously driving back to the main farm to put the potatoes into the silo it's obviously quite a long journey for them to go from field 14 to the silo so I had to provide third trailer duty in between trying to empty silage from a bunker at the BDA take to um, the cows that we've put over on the sh on the on this on this map it's pig where the pigs are and where i've got a grass field on the multiplayer server i've put a, i've put another cow pen there because um the cow pen here only holds a limited number of cows and obviously we need a lot of cows to produce a lot of slurry and a lot of manure to do the precision farming fertilizing so i placed another cow pen on that field which has a lot more cows in it and unfortunately a lot of cows require a lot of food <laughs> a lot of cows require a lot of food they get very hungry very quickly <laughs> um so yeah, I was trying to get silage to them. So, yeah, I was doing a lot of trekking back. And it was so weird that we couldn't harvest the potatoes initially. Hopefully, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's not a serious issue. Hopefully that in the future, because that crop was already on the field when we started the save, it's kind of been glitched because of it was on the field already when we started. It wasn't a crop that we've planted. Hopefully, when we come to plant potatoes, in the future down the road hopefully we will be able to harvest them um, I will have to check that out <laughs> obviously and make sure that it's not a situation whereby we've got a mod that's broken or something um, because I do use I do use a mod um, the or is it sugar beet and potato ready mod? I do use that because that enables um, that enables you to do um, sugar beet and potato harvesting with any sugar beet or potato harvester. They do both. So sugar beet harvesters will harvest potatoes. Potato harvesters will also harvest sugar beets. It basically gives you more options when doing those two crops. And I'm hoping it's not an issue with that mod that was causing me not to be able to harvest the potatoes on this map. Obviously, on this particular map, it doesn't really matter because uh, field 14 here on this map is no longer potatoes. And I'm not going to buy it anyway, even if it was. And we wouldn't get to it. I think both field 14 and field 25 on this map I have adjusted. Uh, this was previously a withered sugar beet, uh, soybean field. Barley field, sorry. A withered barley field. It is now ploughed. Apart from the field edges where, again, Oxygen David hasn't quite got the field definitions for the field set properly. So, 
when you are using admin commands to make changes to the field it doesn't actually make changes to the whole field it only makes changes to the area where the field definitions are and because there's a massive part of this field with bad field definitions um when the field was plowed using the dev commands it's not actually plowed all the field so there's still some withered potatoes if i was to buy this land i would have to come round and um fine fine tune it myself i would i'd have to kind of jigger it myself and adjust it but that's 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 life <laughs> No, so hopefully he'll get full this time and hopefully he'll go off and sell the crop. Because I can't put any more in the silo. My, si my main, main farm silo is full. So what I will be doing once he's sold the, sold the stuff from this field, I will then actually put him on selling some of the crop we've got in the, the farm silo. I will. I'll also check what I've got in the silo over here. Because um, I had to put most of the barley that we harvested in the last episode into the cow silo. Um, because we ran out at the main farm. And I think I've also got wheat in there. So it might be, might be a case of having just to jiggle a bit of stuff about. <laughs> just take stock of what I've got and where I've got it. Because... Um, Uh, I don't want to miss out on selling stuff. <laughs> and I want to make sure I keep enough back that theoretically we, we, we would be able to keep the animals fed for next year, like the chickens and stuff which need their wheat and the horses which need their oats. But yeah. What else have I got to report today, ladies and gents? Well, strange things are a thought. Because, again, when I was recording the other day, I was excited about the fact that the, the Welker Farms map had come out on the mod hub. And the, the Stone Valley map had had its update to fix a lot of bugs and issues. Which is one of the reasons why I haven't started a Stone Valley Let's Play yet. I will be starting a Let's Play on this map, on the Stone Valley map. Probably when this map ends. To replace this map. Uh, but I was also waiting for the map update because there was a lot of bugs reported with Stone Valley by Lancy Boy. And that's hopefully all been corrected now. So I, the last thing I want to do was start a save on a map, get, you know, 10 or 12 episodes in and then have to restart the save because it requires a new save game when the update came out. I think everybody hates that. <laughs> having to start a new save because a map update has come out and it's not compatible it's another reason why i haven't started a save yet on the elm creek 4x edit by stevie because he's still doing tweaks and adjustments to that and releasing updates for it so i'm not starting on that map until it's finished <laughs> um although whether you ever call a stevie map finished is up to you because he does it seems like he, he's got more ideas for that map and he's going to be introducing more things to it over time so you kind of just have to jump in at a point there's a point where you just have to sort of jump in and commit to it and say right that's it folks Right, I'm going to let this guy run around with a worker for a minute because I want to check on the animal situation. Also want to check on productions. They're all going well. We are starting to get a little bit low on the old milk though in the bakery. We might have to take some milk to the bakery. All that stuff is selling direct, so don't have to worry about that.
Eggs and wool are set to distribute, and we've got loads of eggs and wool. Right, that's okay. Uh, sheeps are going to need some food. I'm surprised because I thought they've got bales. A load of slurry. Right, let's go and um, address some of these issues then. Uh, All the honey. And now we've got the wool to take care of. Right, let's check the sheep, because the sheep do have bales sitting over there. Um, they're just not in the feed trigger. Is that the problem? I'll put strong arms on, because I'll need that to move the bales. Yeah, it could be that the bales just aren't in the food trigger. now got plenty of food plenty of food right let's move the wall again any future saves this is going to be this whole process of dealing with the wall and stuff is going to be a lot better because there's been since i started this save obviously there's been new mods come out which will be used in future series which are a little bit better at auto collecting the wool and distributing it for me so i don't have to manually keep coming and dealing with the pallets um which will be great same with the eggs there's better mods for dealing with all that sort of stuff which is obviously fantastic We'll do the eggs as well while we're here. Hello, Chucks. The one thing I the, the one thing about this mob, this these these pat these racks, it's a shame that when you have my products in the mod like i've got loads of oh you know i've got like ten thousand liters of eggs in here waiting to be distributed sort of thing it's a shame that that material isn't shown and isn't actually like displayed on the racks the only way you get product to actually appear on the racks is if you set it set the the thing to storage and obviously i don't want to set it to storage because i want it to supply my bakery but it's just, it's just one of those things where I just, it's one of those things that could just be a little bit better. And it's probably a limitation of the game with the productions in the game currently. And I think Giants probably need to do some tweaks and adjustments there. Um, I'm going to borrow the mower man. I'm going to look at course plane. Have we got a field 10? Mowing. We do have field 10 mowing. I'm going to let this guy go and mow field 10 for me. And then we can get the JCB to do the uh, loading wagon grass collecting. And then that can then be all transported up to the silage fermenter, which then obviously feeds the BGA. So happy days on those things.
My big slurry tank. Where is that located at the minute? Is that, that, is that up at the BGA? Is that up at the dairy? I suspect that's up at the dairy. Harvester wants unloading. Where's the tractor? Where is my tractor, ladies and gents? First waypoint, off you go. Right, let's find the tractor. Where's he? He's Remember this correctly. We had this issue in. I've never changed it on this map. But yeah, whoever originally programmed this um, Auto Drive route, which I downloaded, made a bit of a boo boo in the fact they've only got one route. Which means, unfortunately, any tractors trying to get to Bay 1, around the corner, have to drive over Bay 2, and then they get a little bit confused. Because they, they both accept the same crops and fill types. And it causes a problem. <laughs> what I had to do in the multiplayer server was I had to basically change this route to be a low-priority yellow or brown route, and then I had to put in a green bypass high priority bypass route down the side of the trigger so that basically vehicles can get to bay one without having to travel down there oh yeah uh gonna need a bypass route putting in a bit late for that now on this save uh, if push comes to shove, I could probably just copy the auto drive config file from. No, I can't copy the one from the multiplayer server because I've deleted a load of my custom waypoints and stuff. Because <laughs> I just realized, because uh, again, we've got, again, the, the farm's laid out and set up a lot different on the multiplayer server. I've, I've moved things around a little bit because I, I, I edited the map in Giant's editor. So on the multiplayer server, for instance, one of the things that I changed. Um, so whereas I've got my digestate tank and we've got our sort of grass, hay, straw, manure silo over here. On the multiplayer server, if you've seen us playing that live on Twitch in the evenings, um, UK time, of course, and at weekends, if you've seen us playing on the thing, we have a TMR machine here, over here, and we have a hay dryer, grass dryer. So we don't have these over here. Instead, I've got TMR machine for the cows, and I've got a, a dryer for the hay, for the grass. We don't have a silage fermenter, so we're still having to make silage via putting it in bunkers, compacting it, fermenting it and stuff. But what I did in the editor, I removed this wall. I removed the wall on that field, and also I removed the wall over here as well. I also removed all the trees all on this... Um, on the edge of these fields so i removed this wall and basically this is all of the field 11 there this field 
and the other field are just one big massive field. One huge, enormous, ginormous field. So when you're mowing, you just come straight through. There's no wall to get in the way. And I've smoothed and leveled the terrain out a little bit more there as well. So there's not like the great big hill. Um, I also removed the wall, I think, from that side of the river as well on the multiplayer server. So we don't have this wall here. So again, you can pretty much drive straight through onto this field. And some of the other little walls down here, I've kind of... Um... Again, there's, there's quite a few little grass fields down in this area. One advantage of removing that brick wall from that stone wall from that side of the, the field is that with some of our equipment, like our plow, which is too big to go through any of the gates, we can actually then, we can actually drive it down here and we can actually come down here. So we haven't got to go through the gates to get to field 10 or field 9. We can come this way. We can drive along here. Obviously, trees have been removed as well, just to make it a little bit more, more you know, accessible. So it's actually it's actually a road through here, and then we can turn and go up to the other fields, or we can come over to field nine and do work on field nine, because obviously we've got the the John Deere twenty four ten plow, the one that I was struggling with in the last couple of uh, of a couple of videos ago we've got we have that plow on the multiplayer server and unfortunately it doesn't fit through some of the gates some of the gates on the map are too small too narrow you can't get through it so you can't get into some of the fields but we was able to get to like these fields and that because obviously there's no walls it's a lot easier to get to these fields when there is no stone wall <laughs> on the map but those are some of the things that we've tweaked to make the uh, the multiplayer map a lot different from the um, make the multiplayer map a lot different from the uh, this this save. There's, I've done quite a few little editings. I removed a, a bit more of the junk and stuff. So like on my on on my on the multiplayer map, there's no caravan and junk and it's a little bit more it's a little bit more accessible for um putting trailers and stuff down i said i was going to bail this straw didn't i and not pick it up with the um, loading wagon oh well Where does the straw want to be sold anyway? Straw, 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 straw. Best price currently. Farm store bale sell point, which is just down the road. We can take it down there. That's not a problem. Be able to get a little bit more done with the um, grass and stuff but yeah like i was saying going back to the the stone valley thing and everything the welker thing i got completely derailed off that subject sorry uh the welcome app did release on the mod hub but it has now sadly been removed from the mod hub it's been took down so i'm guessing there was some kind of issue with the map that wasn't found by giants testers or it was released and it was in fact found by players and reported to the the, the map author and the map author has then taken it off requested it to be removed from mod up so they can fix it it's amazing how many times that happens ladies and gents isn't it eh? it's amazing how many times mods get released on the mod hub that have errors in them that are found by the players when they actually come to play with them in game even though all mods are supposed to be play tested by giants during the testing process so again, 
We, the players, are Giants testers. We're all working for Giants. We just don't get paid, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we're all working for Giants at this point. We're all we're we're all Q at Giants Q18. We just don't get paid. <laughs> right, let's go and sell this straw. And then I'll set this guy up to do the grass. I will then get my baler. My baler is just over there in the shed, so... I'll grab the little Lambo that's currently sitting with the header trailer because it doesn't need to be sat with the header trailer. And I will just do some baling. Go to first person because I can't see because of the trees. You know, one thing I did notice the other day in my game, it's a lot darker in first person. The game's a lot darker and less bright than it is external. Mr. Helgi told me last night on the multiplayer server it's because all the tractors in game have tinted windows. I don't like that. I don't want tinted windows. Whilst in some parts of the world tinted windows might be a, a very crucial and must have thing on tractors. Not a fairly common thing here in the UK I don't think for tractors to have tinted windows. And like I say it just makes it the game look a lot more dark and gloomy and hard to see things when you're in first person. One of the reasons why I don't play a lot in first person is I want the game to look really bright and cheerful. You know, I want it to be like me, really bright and cheerful. <laughs> well, that can be debated. <laughs> but there we go. So yeah, done a bit of a uh, soul straw, but that's not why I had the loading wagon, ladies and gents. Loading wagon should be for picking up grass because it's got the silage additive in it. Uh, we will stick to using that for making grass, shall we? Now, I might need to get off this road fairly quick if um, the other tractor starts to come. So, we might take a little bit of a shortcut through field 9 here. Which could be interesting with this great big trailer on the back. Because obviously I have the steering axles locked, so the trailer's not going to help me get through the gates. <laughs> Drive past our sugar beets, which will be ready to harvest hopefully September. Um, maybe next video we'll be doing sugar beets, ladies and gents. And right, we now need to set this guy up to do... Build 10 mowing collect. Right, we need... Do field 10. Bale shed grass off you go uh whoa, whoa stop 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 we want him to do course play don't we so he will do the the collecting and everything yes yeah, so he's going to go to that spot he's then going to start collecting the uh the grass automatically for me I do like that kind of interconnectedness. Force play and auto drive. Works very useful for this type of job. 
sucks. It saves you so much time as a player. And he'll just go around and collect all the grass for me now, so I can be very happy. Just need to make sure I move the mower out of his way in a minute. <laughs> He's still waiting to fill. Right, I said this guy was now going to do the bailing, didn't I? Because he's not, he's just sitting there at the moment, not really doing a lot. And we don't really have any other track to spare that wouldn't be massively, you know, if I put the, 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 fen, the class Zeri on, on the baler, it's a bit overkill. If I put the uh, Terra track, um class on the baler that would be a little bit overkill if i put the fent uh class 800 on the on the baler that would probably be a bit overkill did we get full? Is it down here? I think I'm safe for doing the up and down rows first. So we're well on the road then. So I've got to come back, harvest this bit, little bit myself, manually. Um, there's a few little wispy strips that need to be um, playing up after the fielders, the AI's finish. But all in all, another harvest chalked off. And that hopefully means then come come the next harvest. Like I say, it should be sugar beets then in September. Where's my sugar beet factory? Yeah, we're desperate for sugar beets. We are. Right then, ladies and gents, I'm conscious of the fact this video is running long, a lot longer than the last couple of videos. So I'm going to say thank you for watching today's episode, ladies and gents. I will see you again in the next episode very soon, which, if my maths is correct, will be episode 95. <laughs> so hopefully you'll come back and join me for that. And like I say, hope we hope to aim. We I, my aim is to end this series when we have harvested everything this year. So we've still got grapes, olives, sugar beets, soybeans to do this year before the end of the year. And then obviously we've got stuff to sell and then we'll be saying goodbye to this map and we'll be starting somewhere new. So thank you for watching, ladies and gents. Take care of yourselves. Stay safe. Cheerio for now.